So, I am pretty late to this, but we're here at the final week of the June Joust Tournament. And last week we saw, again, some great performances out of teams, as well as some disappointing performances from the likes of the Seal Dynasty and Philadelphia Fusion. But, here we are, it's a new week, there's always time to change, and that time is now. So... Our first match for tomorrow, or actually, for in just another couple hours, because I didn't realize that it starts today, because the June Joust is actually starting Sunday. <clears throat> first up, we have Boston versus Paris. Boston's easily going to 3-0 this since Paris does not have a, one of their tanks right now. Elivo has left the team just, I believe it was yesterday, and... To my knowledge, they have not announced a new player for the team to fill in that tank role. So I feel like it might just be a forfeit from Paris tonight. Which is really unfortunate because Paris was looking really strong uh, this past week when they beat Washington. But here we are at Dallas and Florida. Going to be a close one. Uh, I'm thinking, though, that it's going to be a... A map 5 victory for Florida. Uh, both teams are looking strong, but I feel like Florida is definitely stronger on the double shield than Dallas is, which is what most teams, especially Florida, have been running. Uh, so tomorrow, we have we start with Boston and LA. I'm going to give it a 3-1 to Boston, giving them, an, if I'm not mistaken, a an undefeated record going into the June Joust, making them the number one seed. Boston's just looking really strong, and Gladiators are looking okay, which is why I feel like it's going to be a definite victory for Boston. Shock Titans, easy 3-0 for Shock. Uh, I don't even see them teasing the, the free breadsticks like Vancouver typically does, uh, going 3-1 in matches. Uh, Shock is just in that zone right now where they lost a tournament, so now they're just going to completely sweep the field from to get to the next one. Florida and Washington, I'm going to give it a 3-1. Justice, even though they looked really weak against Paris and Boston, I do think that they're going to be able to come back and at least show that they're that they have a chance here, that they that they are not as bad as what people have believed them to be for this tournament. Sunday, uh, pretty clear. Uh, I'm not sure when, if or when Paris will get a new player. So, we could just see them have to forfeit the rest of this tournament. Uh, or maybe even if they do get another player, because I'm, I'm still unsure, I'll probably check after I recorded this. I probably should check this first. Uh, but I really feel like even if it wasn't, uh, if Paris wasn't, at the point that they're at right now, with losing LA vote, they still probably would have gotten 3 0 maybe get a 3-1, so I will stick with three. So I actually will go to a 3-1. And then Vancouver versus Dallas, 3-0, clearly. Easy choice there. Shock and Justice, it's going to be a 3-0. Uh, Shock, again, just like I said with Vancouver, they're going to be on a tear for the rest of this tournament, and it's definitely going to be Boston and Shock as... Uh, one and two in the seeds. And now here we go into the East region. The Charge and the Fusion will kick off uh, tomorrow night, tomorrow morning. And I feel like Charge is going to be able to get this out. 3-1 Fusion. They look, they've had good performances so far this, this tournament uh, with their second match. But... Their law, their one loss that they've taken was easily one of the most disappointing looking performances from the Fusion. And it's really showing that they're not very great in this meta right now. And Charge and Spark are both looking really good in the meta themselves. Uh, Valiant, though, clearly is never going to be really strong in a meta. Which is why Fusion, I am going to give it a 3-1. Because... 
Again, Fusion's not looking that good in this meta, but neither is Valiant. So I feel like Valiant's definitely not going to be able to get this one out very far past the map. Hunters in Dynasty, definitely going to be a close one, but I am going to give it to the Dynasty in a map 5 victory. It's going to be a close one because you have such really good main tanks in Gesture and Gaga. And again, Hunters with their uh, with their ball strategy, they could even bring in a Meng, uh, but I still feel like it's going to be a, a close and exciting match between these two. And I'm looking forward to it personally. Uh, Charge Dynasty. I'm going to give it 3 1 Dynasty. Uh, again, just you have uh, Profit and Gesture, two of the best players in APAC to, that I believe. Going to really be the driving force for this team going into the, into the June Joust. Valiant and Spark. Valiant's going to 3 0. They're looking absurdly strong in this meta right now. And with Shy as being a really good uh, Rookie of the Year candidate, I see Spark definitely tearing through this metagame right now. Hunters and Spark. I am going to give it a map 5 victory to the Spark as well. Again, this could go either way. I could actually see Chengdu definitely pulling off the victory here. They could. And Spark also could. It all just kind of depends on how this match goes, and what maps are playing, and just which team can get ahead in the fights. That leads us to Knockout Sunday. Uh, if it's not clear who I'm picking for North America, it is the San Francisco Shock along with the Boston Uprising. Uh, although some of my favorite teams, such as Houston and Dallas, are going to be sitting out for this tournament, I'm definitely... Feeling like those teams, as well as other teams like Atlanta and Florida and Gladiators, are definitely going to be tough competitors here for Boston and Shock. But they're definitely still not going to be able to beat these two teams that are proven to be absurdly strong going into this tournament. As for the East region, uh, Spark and Dynasty, uh, it could be Shanghai. It, it could be Shanghai versus... Uh, spark going into that. But I feel like Seoul is a confirmed pick for me. Uh, but Shanghai and Spark, maybe even Hunters possibly getting in there. Uh, those three teams looking really strong and competitive with one another. Uh, and Seoul just has the manpower that they really need to kind of take this entire tournament. And... Those are my predictions for the knockouts week. Hopefully, we have some pretty good matches here this week. And the June Joust next week to be even more exciting.